Well, day before 2019, 2020 begins. Elizabeth Warren, the first major Democrat to launch an exploratory presidential committee. Senator Warren, a proponent for strict Wall Street rules, bigger government. Is she going to be the face of the Democrat Party? To radio show host Ben Kissel and GOP pollster John Thomas. Good to see you both. So, Ben, I, I watched this four-minute video, and I was surprised there wasn't one word about Donald Trump in it. Uh, she, was, she was focusing on the issue. She was focusing on the economy. Right. Do, do you think it'll stay that way, or do you think it'll get more personal? Well, it has already begun, hasn't it? Uh, pretty crazy timing here coming from Elizabeth Warren. I think she wanted to get in early, set up a national infrastructure, and try to recorrect or um, sort of uh, reshift the narrative that has been sort of going around, swirling around her character, specifically when it comes to her uh, Native American claims. She claimed to be uh, a Native American. She even authored recipes in a book called Pow Wow Chow. I and of remember. course, Donald Trump put her on uh, in the national conversation uh, regarding, uh, you know, that uh, that issue. Then, of course, she released the DNA test. It didn't really work out in her favor. No. So I think she's trying to shift the narrative and come back and reestablish herself as a pillar right. for the progressive left. Well, and, and, and John, that's maybe a, a bonus, maybe a minus, because when you start adding up everything that she wants in terms of her big government policies from uh, universal uh, universal income. She's she's a proponent of that, at least in, yeah. on one of the plans to to uh, Medicare for all or socialized medicine. I mean, she's she's talking about big bucks. We're already 22 trillion in debt. Uh, is that going to be a weakness for her? Well, it certainly is a weakness for her if she gets through a primary to a general election. But the heart and the soul of the Democratic Party. It does not care if they tax and spend us into oblivion. Uh, that's not a concern of theirs. I think Elizabeth Warren's challenge here is, let's, let's just keep this in perspective. She essentially announced, you call it an exploratory committee, call it whatever you want. She's running for president on New Year's Eve, a terrible day. Generally speaking, in our political strategy business, you want to wait as long as you right. can to announce because the sooner you pop your head up, the sooner people start taking shots at you. The reality with Elizabeth Warren is she, a year ago, was the number one in the, in, in the polls. She has fallen so far down, she's mm -hmm. stuck in second and third tier candidates. She has to resurrect her campaign. Well, why this is, is a move of let desperation. Me, let me ask strength. Ben, why is it? Was it? Why is it that she slipped so far so fast? And if she has... Uh, why did she announce so early? Because I think John's right. Well, you know, it's usually the early comers that are first ones to drop out. Just, I just want to push back a little bit sure. on the Democrats' tax and spend. The last time we had a balanced, uh, a balanced budget was under a Democratic president. With the Republican so, Congress, you're uh, right. Go yeah, ahead. Th okay. Thanks to Newt so, Gingrich, yes. Yeah. So, okay. Um, <laughs> when it comes to Elizabeth Warren, I think Bernie Sanders is taking a lot of her uh, key supporters, right? So, naturally, he's polling higher than she is in Iowa. Uh, Move On just came out with a poll that has her behind Bernie, behind Beto, uh, wow. and behind Biden. Uh, just a little bit above another progressive um, sort of hero, to some degree, um, Sherrod Brown. So there is a crowded field of yeah. progressives in the Democratic Party. And I think the name recognition, again, going back to the feud that she had with Donald Trump, there is just a lot of fatigue when it comes to the nicknames, when it comes to the gutter politics, when it comes to the, the pigs rolling around and you know what they roll around with. I think there's a lot of people who see if she would get the nomination, uh, more of that to come. And yeah. I think there's a lot of fatigue in that in that way. Well, John, let's let's focus on the president's trouble with the, the current economic situation. Again, I think the economy is very strong, but if it does slow down significantly in 2019 and, and going into 2020, uh, the president could not win a re-election. I mean, I think that's pretty clear from what happened to G.H. Bush. If He needs a strong economy. He needs that as one of the pillars of his campaign. And again, mm -hmm. I do think it's stronger than the market would indicate now. But doesn't that kind of increase the possibility of him, before the re his re-election really uh, kicks into high gear, of making a deal with China? Because that alone could get the market cooking again. You're totally right, and and it's it, look. It was a gamble for him to do this. It took a, it, I think a, a, a spine of steel uh, to to deal with the political uh, consequences of it. But if if he can make a deal with China, if the economy roars back, and I think I agree with you, it's still strong. But if the stock market roars back, it puts him in a good position for reelect. But furthermore, mm -hmm. it depends on who the Democrats get through their primary process and nominate. Mm -hmm. If they nominate somebody like an Elizabeth Warren or a Beto O'Rourke or, or, or Bernie Sanders that explicitly say they want to raise taxes, 
Well, Trump now also with the Democratic Congress has a villain. He has Nancy Pelosi. He can blame other people. I think it was a harder argument before because voters said, hey, the Republicans are in power. So it's not done at all. But Trump, certainly, it would be great if he had a stronger economy. Hey, John economy. Thomas, we got to leave it at that. Ben Kissel, good to see you both. Thank you very much for coming in. Happy New Thanks. Year Happy to you Happy New both Year. Too. Thank you. Happy New Year. Appreciate it.